This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The second thing is he provides guidance and strength. Psalm 139, verse 10. Your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. I love this. The idea is that not only is there guidance, the again, you, you guide me, Lord, you have your hand on me to guide me, but your right hand, which is considered the hand of strength, your, except for your left-handers, your right hand gives me strength. It holds me. It gives me the strength that I need. It sustains me. And when do you need God to sustain you? You don't need God to sustain you when everything's going fine. When you've got control of the bike and you know what you're doing and everything's good, you don't need God to sustain you. You need God to sustain you when you're falling. When things aren't going right. When things are kind of starting to go into a spin. That's when you need him to hold you. And he says, I'm there. I'll hold you. I'll have my left hand to guide you, my right hand to hold you, to strengthen you, to hold you up. And then Psalm 139, 16 tells us that he provides us purpose and destiny. Purpose and destiny. All the days, all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Now, that is enlightening and it's also intimidating because in one sense it says God, God's got it under control God knows where I am in the progress of time where I am in that chart that he's designed for me he knows all of my days and what's ordained for me he knows exactly where I am and how things are going and I can trust him for that but it also means that he knows what's going on in my life and what's to come gulp and I remember Andrea and I talked about this. In fact, she was the one that convinced me to start my book with this, with this sentence that, you know, it's, it's, you know, we often wonder if God doesn't birth us with a lump in his throat, knowing what we're going to have to go through. Because God knows that there are things that we have to go through in our life, difficulties that we have to go through in our life. There are things that we have to face on a day-by-day -day basis. You have to face things that I never face. I have to face things that you'll never face. We all go through different issues in our lives. And all of these complex issues that seem to just twist us into this frantic ball of, of, of pain and hurt and, and frustration, all of those things come into focus when we begin to realize, God, you ordained my days. And you knew all about every one of them before any of them came to be. Your God is in control. So in contrast, the Pharisees, who did not know the sheep, you know, we've just seen this beautiful painting, this beautiful picture of what God knows about you and how interested he is in you. And the Pharisees, they didn't know the sheep. They had no plans for the sheep. They certainly were no protection. The sheep didn't, rec the sheep didn't even recognize them as their own shepherds. You know, those people didn't trust the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They resented them. They didn't trust them. And Jesus was, was pointing them out, and he was saying, Look, guys, you got an issue here. You're not real shepherds. You're not the shepherd of the sheep. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope you